Hey, welcome back. Today I thought we'd do something really special and kind of unique. It's the end of 2022 and I thought it would be kind of fun to look back over my professional dog photography images that I've done this year. Some of my favorites, some of the ones that I submitted and won at award competitions and to show you just a little bit of some personal projects that I have going on right now as well. Um, I thought it would be fun to show you some before and afters of some of these images too and just kind of take you through, I don't know, my year and, uh, and show it to you. I hope you enjoy. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Andrea Fleury and welcome to Dogtography. My channel is all about how to take better images of your dog and how to create some really super fun memories. I walk you through different tips and tutorials and techniques. I sometimes show you behind the scenes of my professional career as a dog photographer, all while just trying to have some fun and enjoy time with our dogs. So the first set of images I have to show you is from a winter shoot that I did in February, 2022. Now this is with Bebop and Ebony and their mama, Sophia. We went to Port Bruce, Ontario on this beautiful frozen beach. And now she really wanted darker kind of moody style imagery, which is totally awesome for like a morning sunrise type winter beach session. And the first image that I have here to kind of reflect on is this really awesome silhouette. So what I really enjoy about this is mama sitting in the middle and her two babies on either side of her looking at her. And I think it's just, it's so sweet and it's really characteristic of their relationship. The frozen like ice mound that they're sitting on and like the blues and the tones in the sky, which was really soft and very lovely, just gives this image like this really cool contrast of like, soft, gentle sky versus like cold, dark ground with the ice. And I, and I really enjoy it. She actually got this as an art piece. So it lives up on her wall and it, and I, and I absolutely love it. This image here is of Ebony. I chose this image to be part of an image challenge that I was in and it actually placed in the top 10 for what they called their spaced out challenge, which was all about leaving negative space around the subject. And they, the judges commented on this and they thought that it had a real surreal look to it. Um, again, with the ice mounds and kind of this like painterly type sky and Ebony just looks so pristine and gorgeous up on this like ice mound. I, I just love it and I love the tones and I love the color and kind of the drama that I feel when I look at this, when I look at this image. And then lastly, we have Bebop here. I selected this picture cause I really liked that it was, um, that the environment around her kind of matches the tones in her fur um, and her eyes just kind of like like jump out at me and uh, kind of pierce through me as I'm looking at the picture and I love images that really like make the viewer feel something inside and this one does that for me I, I really quite enjoy it moving on to the next one so this next image is my dog Asher in front of this giant frozen running waterfall. This was captured here in Ontario at Rock Glen Falls, and this is a composite image. So what that means is Asher was photographed on the rocks separately from the waterfall. So this waterfall, as you can see, it has a lot of blurred water. So we went right at kind of the end of the winter season here. So the waterfall was melted and there was actually running flowing water. And I used a time lapse setting on my camera so that it looked like silk. And that was, that was an intentional effect that I wanted to create. And then I wanted to put Asher in front of it on these rocks. Well, this picture of Asher was actually taken on another set of rocks at this location, but I was able to cut him out and put him on these rocks here in front of the waterfall to create this image. Now this image did place in the top 10 of the image challenge um, that I participate in, in their, in their top 10, uh, but it also did win an award. 
So this image actually did win another award um, at the International Photography Awards. Um, it was an official selection in the professional category, um, which is amazing. So it is a composite. It isn't like classified as like, you know, it's, it's not real, but it is real. So this happens all the time in photography. You never know anymore what's actually been created digitally, uh, but that doesn't matter in this award competition. Um, this still stood as it was and, um, and it did really well. And I'm pretty happy with that. So this next set of images, um, I intentionally went out to take these on a very overcast, moody winter day in January 2022 um, with the intention of going to capture an image in the like moody winter light. I just really wanted to kind of test myself and see if I could make it work. Um, we found this like ice mound down by the water and I thought it would be a great opportunity to take a panoramic photo. So this image here is not just one shot. This is about 20 images hand stitched together that I do in Photoshop and blend it all in to make one big kind of environmental scene and purposely centered Asher right in the middle of it. This is actually a wall art piece that I've made and it's in my home office, which I'll be showing you soon in January, 2023 with my home office tour. You'll get to see that um, this is a living art piece. But yeah, I thought that this was really cool and it really challenged me to do, to work on a panoramic image. So this next image that I wanna show you is one that I really worked a lot on um, for award season this year. And it is Asher, up, my dog Asher, up on top of this really awesome log with some really cool looking tree roots. I'm gonna show you the before, but um, before I do that, I want you to note kind of like the moody clouds in the background. What I really, really, really loved about this image is the way he's standing. So where he's got his paws up and his body is kind of in this like S curve where his, his chest and his shoulders are kind of motioned this way, but his head is looking off to the side. I thought that that really played well to kind of his like athletic uh, stature, if you will. And it provides visual interest because we don't know what he's looking at, which I'm pretty sure were like geese flying overhead. But I'm gonna show you the before now because I think it's really interesting to kind of see how an image kind of progresses from the raw file. So this is the raw image that came straight out of camera. So all raw files are a little kind of muted and a little more towards gray, um, which allows me to kind of pull the colors and stuff out um, when I'm editing them in Lightroom and Photoshop. And you can see that he was on a leash. So that is what that is going all the way up through his fur. So it's always a fun challenge to try and edit those out of your image and to turn it into you know, something like this that you can submit. Now you might be wondering if it actually won an award, so I'll show you. So it did place in the Animal Image Makers competition with a merit, which means it, it was rated in the professional category. And I believe this one scored um, 84 points. So anything between 80 and 84 uh, ranks it in the merit category. So now I'm gonna jump to springtime. So in the spring, um, I did photos downtown London here by the cherry blossom trees. So this is Richard and he is a giant great Pyrenees mixed with something else. I'm not quite sure. Um, so he came out for the, it was like a mother's day photo shoot that I did with these cherry blossoms. And so I just have a couple images of Terry and him. Uh, hanging out together and one more of him and I thought that these were really sweet He was such a sweet dog and it was really nice to spend some time with him and his mom down by the blossoms So also that day I met with Kim and Sophie and Sophie is a truly special dog to me um, I got to photograph her last year, which you're gonna see in a little bit um, with one of her pictures that also won an award and it was really, really special um, opportunity for me to get to work with them. But this was a celebration shoot. We, I invited Sophie and her mom to come back so that we could take pictures of her new look. So for those who don't know Sophie's story, she just recently, or recent to this image, had her eyes removed. She had a condition in her eyes that caused her to have really pain um, painful eyes and she also lost her vision so they decided to take her eyes out and this was a celebratory shoot to kind of celebrate her new look and her new uh, lease on life and here she is just having an absolute blast with her mom 
Um, she definitely uh, look like she looks beautiful. She looks lovely. And it was very interesting for me to photograph a dog uh, that doesn't have any sight. Anyway, it was a real pleasure to photograph Sophie and I know that she is absolutely thriving in life and uh, her mama loves her very much. And this was truly a very special shoot for me. So my last shoot in the Blossoms is here with Frankie, Nova and Harvey the cat and their mama. Uh, this image I absolutely love because we achieved it in one take, which really shocks me because normally when you have multiple pets, especially with a cat, you're just asking for chaos. And there was a little bit, I think of that, but this, this image was perfect and it happened all in one take, which was just amazing. Um, I enjoy this image of the two dogs together. That was something their mama really, really wanted. But I also really love this one of Harvey up in the tree. He's named Harvey, Harvey after Harvey Specter from Suits. Um, if you know anything about that show, love him, love him up in the tree. And this was just super fun. Lots of fond memories here. Okay, so moving on, this one was also captured in the winter and it was my first attempt at Milky Way photography. And I really wanted to try photographing the Milky Way, but combining it with my love of dogs and dog photography. So what I did is I went to uh, Port Bruce at three o'clock in the morning on an absolutely freezing cold night. And uh, by myself, might I mention in the absolute pitch black of night, <laughs> Um, I went and attempted this shot for the first time ever. I really didn't know what I was doing, but I kind of had a sense of how to set up my camera and what to do with it. And I, I mean, I'm still shocked at the results because this Milky Way that we really can't see very well with our naked eyes, the camera can, especially when it's set up with some special settings, it can see it and it is very much there and I was just blown away and I'm like giggling to myself on a beach <laughs> in the pitch black going, oh my God, like, oh my God. And what's so cool is that after your eyes kind of adjust to like that kind of blackness is you, you truly can see the Milky Way in the sky with your own eyes. It doesn't look like this, mind you, but yeah. So to get the, um, to get my dog into this image, I had to go separate from this and take him with me and have a friend set him up on the same log that I shot in the middle of the night, but during the day so that you could get exposure on the dog. Trying to do this all in camera in the pitch black of night, absolutely not gonna work. Look, not gonna work for me, let's put it that way. I needed to get light on Asher from daytime. So we went on a nice overcast day and to get him to look up, like I wanted him to be looking up like he's looking up at the stars. We just took a treat and threw it up in the air and got the shot and well, there you go. <laughs> so I love this picture. It's super special to me. And it was just one of my passion projects this year. So I only ventured out maybe one other time this year to try and attempt this Milky Way photography. Now this was um, specifically photographed for an image challenge that I was in um, to do with uh, silhouettes. So silhouette imagery is when the subject is pretty much all black and uh, the environment around them is what is like still in color and in light. Um, so this actually is a really interesting combination of two images in one. So the dog here, his name is Dash and he was photographed at Kettle Point, like up on all these rocks. I'm going to show you the before picture in a second so you can see, but he's photographed on all of these rocks. So that was taken in Kettle Point, Ontario. The sky, the Milky Way was captured in Port Stanley, Ontario. So I went again, middle of the night, just to photograph the sky, got the shot. And in Photoshop, I was able to put the two of them together. So Lake Erie up here, Lake Huron down here, and it just all works well in this. And it did actually win the uh, silhouette category of the image challenge. Now I promised you I'd show you a before picture, wrong way. So here it is here. So this is the before picture. So him, there's his mama, Heather, who's always gave to help me out with my crazy ideas, which I really appreciate holding his leash and getting him to look up because he absolutely loves the ball that she's holding and he will always like just fixate on it. So there is all the like really cool slate rock and the water that he's standing on here. And that is what I use to make this image. 
Okay, so next up we have a shoot with Danny and Indy, the Dalmatians. So it was my first time getting to work with some Dalmatians and they did not disappoint. These two girls were very high energy. They loved running around together on the beach, uh, walking up and down with their mama Carol. And uh, we just hung out and we had a great time. It was sunset and it was absolutely beautiful. This shot was taken intentionally because Carol wanted to use this um, potentially for her business, uh, but we really wanted to get a really lovely picture of them walking on the beach together. And this apparently is what they do all the time. So these girls love to run around and share toys. And I just love this picture. I think it's just so much fun and so characteristic of their relationship with each other. And lastly, we have this gorgeous, um, panoramic image of the sun setting behind Danny here and I just love the way that she's standing and she's positioned and she's got that really beautiful curve to her neck and she's kind of looking off to the side and I, I absolutely adored this shoot we did a video at the same time so it was it was super fun a lot of pressure when there's a, sun, a setting sun but it, it was great and Danny and Indy are uh, so special and I really enjoyed it so this is a really unique image. So I took this one specific for an image competition that I was in. So again, just some like personal, you know, projects. Um, this one, the challenge was all about details and they were looking for like really unique details of animals, usually mostly dogs. But I mean, I, of course I took it off in a different direction and decided to photograph my fish. So this is Cuddles and uh, he is a beta fish or a Siamese fighting fish. I'm gonna show you the original so that you can see. So here he is here with his big, beautiful tail. I photographed him through the glass in his aquarium using my macro lens. So as you can see, I, I used just a section of the fish for that picture. So I was able to kind of zoom in and I was able to rotate it a little bit and use basically like this section here, which I thought was the most interesting part of of the fish where kind of like the scales met the fins and i really like how this image has like a painterly look to it i guess if you will it's just really different it's really abstract the judges loved it and i have to say i've made this into the most gigantic art piece i can possibly make and i've hung it in my upstairs foyer i just really love the colors and uh and it's awesome cuddles is over here in his tank and he says hi to everybody <laughs> so next up we have floyd and floyd really holds a special place in my heart um i was hired by his mom who was a veterinarian to go and do a photo shoot for him because she knew that he um, wasn't well so this happens a lot in my professional career where i will be approached by someone who knows that it's almost time for their pet to pass away and they would like to have some images captured before that happens and i have to say like that is the best time you know you don't want to wait you want to kind of get this um, and do it while they're while your animal is still feeling well enough to do it and Floyd certainly was. He, bless his heart, he was full of energy. He was playing, he was playful, he was enjoying walking around and like hiding in the bushes here. So he did that quite a bit. But he also had lots of snuggles with his mom and he enjoyed walking down the street in the setting sun. I, I love this picture, I think he just looks so studly. Lots of head rubs with his mama. I, she's gonna kill me for showing this on YouTube, but I think that this picture is just such a fun uh, representation of their relationship together. I love the like glowing soft sunlight uh, behind him and, um, and yeah, and uh, capturing their relationship together. I do wanna say that Floyd has since passed away since this shoot and it makes me very sad and I don't wanna cry, so I'm gonna talk fast, but I, I absolutely um, feel a connection with him and with his mom and I am so glad that I was able to do this for them and that she now has these images to have for the rest of her life to remember him by. Love you, Floyd, you are so cool, love you. So it is no lie that I love to incorporate color in the imagery that I create. So whether it's color from flowers or color from the sky, the sun, like what's going on in the environment. I don't do a lot of studio photography. So I mainly only shoot outdoors. So I'm usually pulling color from mother nature somewhere. 
In this next set of images, we are at a lavender farm, which uh, was in July, I believe, right, Ashlyn? Yes, you were there with me. It was in July uh, is when lavender is in bloom. And I really love like the purples. So we did a fundraising shoot for the Humane Society and we had three uh, groups of people come out with their dogs. So this is Bo here in the lavender. He looks absolutely beautiful. And again, he's another one of my clients that has passed away since we've taken this image. So Bo, I hope you're chewing a bone up there in heaven and enjoying yourself. Thank you so much for coming out and allowing me to capture um, an image of you. And here we have Bo's sister, Sloan. And she's super cute. Um, and this is a nice, what I call like puppy dog eye shot, like kind of shot down, looking down. I love her tongue hanging out to the side and like all of the nice, beautiful lavender framing her face. And then we have Coda and Coda's parents. So Coda came, he is like a red Husky with these super blue eyes. I absolutely adore Huskies. I, I always wanted one growing up as a kid. So it was super nice to, to meet and to work with him. And I love that his colorings just went so well with the purple. And now we have Harlow and Izzy and their mom and dad. So we did, the sun was like at the perfect spot in the sky where it was providing this beautiful golden light over this gorgeous meadow of flowers. Like you couldn't ask for a better like fairy tale setting. Like, I mean, look at this, it's just so beautiful. And their mom is just gorgeous in these images as well. I love her kind of like bending over in her beautiful dress and, you know, holding her puppy's face and I'm um, getting some nice family shots for them. So that was the Humane Society fundraiser shoot and I absolutely enjoyed every minute of it except for when we were getting bitten by bees and flies and yeah, all that, yeah, that was, that, that, that part. Didn't, didn't love that so much. So moving on, we have Lucy and Megan. So Lucy the Greyhound is the first Greyhound I've had the pleasure of working with and she was super, super sweet. So we went to this wildflowers farm and I uh, love this image of them kind of looking off to the side while they're surrounded by all of these gorgeous flowers. We did film a video at the exact same time, so that is always kind of super challenging, but we were able to get this really cool, it's kind of like a partial silhouette. To me, it's really dreamy. It has like a, like a serene kind of quality to it. Uh, Megan really loved this too, and it was turned into an art piece for her front foyer. Um, she wanted to have something that she could always remember Lucy by because again this shoot um, definitely we knew that um, Lucy might not be around much longer she had already had cancer and had you know come through all of that but you know you just are not sure um, I did go back um, a second time to photograph Lucy in the comfort of her own home where she was a little less stressed out by the environment. Greyhounds can, I guess sometimes can be really nervous when they're out and in different surroundings and relaxed, kind of hanging out on her couch and then hanging out on her mom's bed, you know, really relaxed without like, you know, she wasn't panting or, you know, appearing stressed. This was a beautiful image of them holding hands. And this was something that I guess when her mom, you know, would stop petting her, she would put her paw on her leg to kind of be like, hello, keep petting me, please. And so we wanted to capture that in this really fun image. And I absolutely love these. I'm so, so incredibly sad to say that Lucy has just recently passed away. And, um, um, you know, we, it wasn't expected by me, but anytime I hear this news from a client, it always deeply, deeply saddens me. But I, I do know that I feel grateful to have had this opportunity to work with her and to learn from her. She taught me things and I, and I, that's such a special gift, but the gift that I can give back in return is all of this beautiful imagery and the lovely video that we took of her for her mom so that she can have them to treasure forever. I hope you're resting peacefully, Lucy. So we have here um, a really fun summer beach shoot. This is Daps. And I, what I really love about this is she's posing up on this log that's like the same colors as her fur. And uh, we, she really enjoyed this. 
uh, we took this really cool panoramic shot. So again, this is several um, images, I think 10 images all stitched together to create this look. We saw this teepee on the beach and we knew we had to do something super fun with it, but with a giant teepee and this little tiny dog, it took a lot of creative effort to, you know, photograph it with the right lens and to give it the right perspective so that she kind of like fit kind of inside uh, this teepee. And I think it's super cool and I love it. Her sister Lulu was there and her sister was, is a rescue dog and had just been rescued, I believe, four days before this shoot. And she has grown up her whole life in a rescue facility. Um, so the whole world is very unknown to, to this beautiful dog. And I love that we were able to capture her in this lovely, gorgeous golden light. So next up, we have Raven. So Raven's this gorgeous black cat and the human here is my niece who is actually the camera cam my camera girl um what i love about this picture and the idea of okay i'm sorry i'm going to call you a child for a second but um taking pictures of animals with children i think is such a cool idea and something that everybody should do if your child has a unique relationship with your family pet or their own pet I encourage you to have those memories captured because we all know that this just lasts for such a, a short period of time and she's going to be grown up into this beautiful adult before we know it and she will have this to look back on and remember this relationship that she had with her cat forever. So please, if you have someone in your life that um, has a, a, a cool relationship with a pet, let's do it. So this is an image that I absolutely love. So Raven is actually posing here on her kitchen table and I'm photographing this through their patio door <laughs> to get the right light on a black cat. You gotta get really creative. But Ashlyn had this turned into an art piece and I'm hoping it's in your bedroom. Is yeah. it in your bedroom? Yes, it is. So that's amazing and I love it. Raven was such a character. She was so fun and I love watching them interact with each other. This was my last like uh, favorite picture of the whole shoot where she just like was being very curious and kind of walking through the curtains towards where I was sitting on the floor. And I was just, I was, it was luck, like luck that I was able to capture this before she moved because it only lasts for a split second. So our next shoot, we have Spike and Eddie. So this is a picture of Eddie with his mama. And I really love this one. It's like a nice top down, um, shot where you get to see his big beautiful eyes and his ears and his cute little bow tie. I just love it. It's so sweet. And this is Spike. They're um, two, I guess, brothers. Um, so mama owns him and then her daughter owns Eddie and uh, they, but they just hang out like bros and they have matching bow ties. I mean, that's like super cute and I love it. We went down to a nice natural woodsy area here in the city actually, and we're able to grab these. And so this is Zeus. So Zeus is an American bulldog and uh, we had a really nice shoot together again at sunset, which was really super pretty. Um, this is a, my, one of my favorite shots of, of the fall, like within the fall leaves and getting that like nice golden like sunset color. I think the colors in this image are actually beautiful. She has turned this into an art piece too with this beautiful wooden frame. Um, I, I just absolutely am in love with this and the tones and the colors and everything. I love it. Thank you, Zeus and your mama, Becca. So this was a really fun fall shoot that I did with Echo, Isley, Crumb, and their mama, Kendall. Um, she really wanted fall colors for this shoot. So we waited until there was lots of leaves on the ground. We got postponed a few times because of weather, but you know what? It always usually works out in the end. This was super important to her to have a group shot because it's so hard to get those on your own. So it's always nice to kind of have those memories. This I thought was an, another really cool way to have like a group shot where, you know, she, the human is still part of the picture, but maybe not like the big like focus of the image. And then we had to do a nice one with the three of them together. So Echo and Crumb uh, modeled for me for this image that I took for um, an image challenge that I'm in and it was called Double Trouble. So it was about two dogs posing together and they had to have like a pose kind of like that they were doing together. So they have this one where, you know, he, he steps over her and she's lying down and it was a super cool, again, setting sun. I really love the tones and the colors and this made it um, into the top 10.
So Halloween is one of my favorite times of the year. In my house, it's almost like Halloween all year round. My kids love it, we love it, it's just amazing. Um, so I kind of had this image in my mind that I wanted to turn my dog Asher into Pennywise the Clown. I found this costume at a Halloween store and I knew that I had to do something with it. Um, so if you want to see the behind the scenes of this photo shoot, check out, I'm going to link it, uh, uh, the Pennywise photo shoot that we did. Um, and we filmed all the behind the scenes and made a YouTube video out of it. So you can see how this was created. Um, we went to this like tunnel here in London and took some balloons with us. So really didn't use a lot of props. This here is my niece Ashlyn dressed up as Georgie, which I feel like just totally works and I love it. Okay, you're not the same size as a little kid Georgie, but anyway, you gotta get creative, right? And uh, Asher did, did so well. And I learned how to do like the makeup that he has on his face in Photoshop. So like really like stretching my abilities here and learning how to do new things and being creative. Um, I, I totally love embracing opportunities like that. And this was definitely one of those times. <laughs> So that then brings me to another YouTube episode that we created at the Byron Scary House. So at Halloween time here, we have this really awesome uh, location in London that sets up as a like haunted house scare attraction. And I went last year to photograph um, Asher there with all of their really cool sets and scenery. It's quite, um, you know, how, what would you call it? It's quite, you know, scary. There's a lot of like gory bits. So this might not be quite your thing, but it definitely is mine. And I really, really enjoyed it. I took this like, I know it's so funny because it's like this cute little booty shot of Asher, uh, but with this like dead guy on the wall. So anyway, this we created uh, during our time there. And, and then we have another one here of Asher with this uh, clown. <laughs> <laughs> and then another one here of Asher, this guy hanging from the ceiling. I laugh, but these these were just fun to do in the moment for the YouTube video. Um, I do have one from last year that I'm going to show you. Now this image here I call the haunted hearse. So Asher was in a scene that they had uh, put together there with all of these hearses from the early like 1900s, so I was told. And the story behind this image was really super cool and I was able to submit that to the IPA awards. Now this image uh, won an um, official selection in the professional category award and it also received an honorable mention in the professional category. So it was pretty special, um, um, an opportunity and I, I think this image did really well. I'm super proud of it. So one last client shoot to show you here. This is with Daisy and Gatsby, both are rescue dogs. And uh, they're very special to me because they are one of our uh, good friends dogs. Now we did this photo shoot as a secret. So by the time this YouTube video comes out, um, Mama will already know about this, but it's a surprise Christmas present for her. So this image here of her two puppies together has been turned into an art piece that she can have. And then I just did portraits. Uh, this is Gatsby and Daisy, and she'll be getting those for Christmas as well. Merry Christmas, Terry. So this image here is super, super special to me. So this is one that I decided to submit to an awards competition. Um, it is of Kim and Sophie, who we saw a little while ago in The Blossoms. I titled this image, Sophie's Last Sunset. And what we meant by that at the time is we knew that her eyes were not doing well and that they probably would eventually come out. So um, to me, it was her last sunset. It was her last sunset that was captured anyway um, by me. Um, so that was what I decided to call it. It did win a judge's choice award. And that's what this ribbon looks like. So this is the award that won. I've never received a ribbon for anything before. So it was super cool and really special. And I do actually intend on framing this with the image and putting it up here in my office. Um, I was really surprised when this arrived and uh, it just touches my heart because I was able to listen to the judges feedback and this image was one of the ones that was challenged um, to kind of move up in the rankings and the judge that was really, really rooting for it really connected with the title 
um, that I decided to give this image the Sophie's Lost Sunset and with the actual imagery itself. And what I love about it is like seeing the sun kind of come through her fur and the water and they look like they're both smiling and having like the best time. It was such, such a great photo shoot. We had so many laughs and you know, out in the water together. Um, you know, I love reflecting back and, and thinking of these stories again. So lastly, I have a personal project to show you that, that is something that I, I want to put out there. It's, it's actually not of dogs at all. So when I was filming for YouTube at the Byron Scary House, Ashlyn and I were there, we were, were approached by one of the actors that actually helps put on their production there. And he is a scare actor. So he loves to dress up in different characters that he's developed and he has storylines behind them and the whole thing. He really embraces his craft as an actor and as a creator and I was in total full support of uh, what he does there it was amazing you would actually get to see a little sneak peek clip of him in the episode that we filmed at the Byron scary house he is the monster that jumps out and grabs me at the end of the video um, so after that experience I actually decided to go back a few times that weekend and photograph him in some of his different uh, costumes and characters and I don't do human photography so let alone vampires but anyway here I am so we got together and we went through all of the different sets that they had there and we were able to capture some of this really cool imagery of him in his different characters it was an opportunity that I really had to embrace and I spent a lot of time there with him and kind of got to know him and got to understand, you know, all of the stories behind these characters. And we've since worked together on some other projects too. So we um, did some studio photography, which was brand new to me. I haven't done anything like this before. And I just love how, um, how he pushes me to do different creative things. So I have to say thank you to Phoenix for coming into my life in a very random time and uh, helping push me into different creative directions. You know I love you and I enjoy every minute that we get to spend together doing like new and creative and different stuff. Um, I can't wait to see where it goes in the future. You should all go and follow him and I will link his Instagram and his TikTok down below. He puts out some really super cool content that you may or may not enjoy. It's totally up to you, but I sure dig it. And uh, yeah, so that's it. So there you have it. There's 2022 year in review. All the images that really touched my heart that I feel so eternally grateful for every day for being able to capture and to share with all of you and with the guardians of all of the pets that you got to see today. It is truly, I believe, my gift to the world to be able to create these things for people. And uh, it is my passion and what I absolutely enjoy doing. And I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone that has trusted me this year to take images for them and to create things and to make art pieces and albums and really truly bring your pets to life. Um, I love all of you so much. Thank you so much for watching and tuning into these episodes. This YouTube channel is brand new this year as well. And uh, it definitely holds a special place in my heart to keep creating this content for you week after week. I, thanks for being on this journey with me and uh, I love you all so much. Mwah! Happy New Year and I'll see you in 2023. Bye for now.